Hi, I'm Kristen with Clinical Education, and we are going to talk about an irregular pressure trigger alarm. Sometimes when the irregular pressure trigger alarm comes up on your balloon, it doesn't make an audible alarm, it'll only make a visual alarm here on your screen, and that's because it's not an alarm that you necessarily need to rush to correct. The most common reason that you get that alarm is that the rhythm of your patient is really variable. Most likely they're in AFib, sometimes they have really frequent PVCs or PACs or non-sustained VTAC that can trigger that alert on your balloon pump. Um, in that setting, the balloon is actually adjusting its deflation timing so that it won't have any unsafe inflations during systole. So the important thing in that situation when your patient has an irregular rhythm is to not adjust the deflation timing on your own. So it's best generally just to leave your pump in auto and know that it has that irregular pressure trigger because of your patient's rhythm. Sometimes, if you want to try to get that alarm resolved, you can take your patient out of auto and you can put them in semi-auto and if they were on a pressure trigger, you can switch them up to an EKG trigger in semi-auto mode. And when you restart it in that setting, it can um, get rid of that pressure alarm for you. The other option that might be going on is that if your patient was in a semi-auto mode and somebody was adjusting their deflation time, their deflation timing might actually be too late. So the way you're going to determine that is you're going to come in and if your patient is in a regular rhythm but you have the irregular pressure trigger alarm, you want to check and see if somebody has changed your deflation timing. And if that has happened, it's best to go back to auto mode or to leave it in semi-auto and manually adjust your deflation timing so that you're not having an unsafe deflation. Hopefully those two things will help you guys whenever you get an irregular pressure trigger alarm.